Sure. That's a lot of questions. But tractor owners and operators have been asking questions for years. Questions like, why don't they make a tractor that takes... When will some tractor manufacturer... Where can I find a tractor that will... Who's going to give me the kind of power? Which tractor is going to be the one... I asked some of these questions myself a while back, but I found the answers. 190 of them, so to speak. In the Alice Chalmers 190 and 190 XT tractors. Yes, it was the Alice Chalmers 190XT that had the answers I wanted. And believe me, I not only gave it a good close look, but I looked at a lot of other tractors too. And no matter which way I looked at it, a 190 filled the bill. Basically, what I wanted to know was the capability of the tractor to do the jobs I wanted it to do on my farm, working with my land, my equipment, and my crops. And its further capability to work with me to get the jobs done as efficiently and easily as possible. If anyone was going to put me in that driver's seat, it was going to be me. I needn't have worried, though, because the Alice Chalmers 190 is built for the man as well as the job. What about visibility? Even while you're seated, you can see the ground a short distance in front of the tractor. The slope, taper, and clean lines of the hood offering minimum obstruction. How about this high bridge visibility? I think it's great. Just look where you sit. Up on a high level deck that's 45 inches above the ground. And what comfortable sitting. It's really an easy chair seat. With the deep upholstering, it's the last word in comfort. And two other seat options are available. You can select any of 12 seat positions, too. Change them on the go if you want. Keeps you relaxed and alert at the same time. I also like the way the full-skirted fenders are joined to the platform to keep the dust and mud away from the operator. Still, the fenders don't hide the wheels. And speaking of dust, the platform height keeps you well above the dust zone, and you're also clear of heat eddies from the engine. If you need any more visibility than this, you've got that too, simply by standing. And that's a lot easier than you might think. Why do I say it's easy? Because when you stand up, you can move the seat to the rear to give you even more room. And speaking of room, I looked at the platform areas of various tractors and came up with some pretty interesting figures. The first one I looked at had 501 square inches of platform area. The next one had 711 square inches. But the 190 topped them all with 1,224 square inches of space. Really room to pace the deck. And on a deck like this, you're really in command. You're really in full command. Steering with an adjustable wheel that can be positioned through a wide range for the most comfortable steering, whether you're standing or seated. It's effortless steering, too. Hydrostatic power steering that lets you spin the wheel with your fingertips, even when working in deep, loose material. In fact, when you're in the driver's seat, you discover all the answers as to why the 190 is built for the man. You're in full command with this instrument panel that's convenient to the glance. With this console control that's easy to reach and provides effortless operation. Yes, you're in complete command as you shift on the go. Shift from high to low range with an easy flick of a lever that hydraulically actuates the power clutch. You control the 190 as you control your own body. You can even control your working environment by adding this cab. 
The air is filtered and under pressure to keep out dust, bugs, and pollen. There's optional air conditioning and heating, too. Yes, it sure is the answer to more comfort, safety, and cleanliness on the job. Built for the man? You bet the 190 is. But it's what goes on behind the tractor that counts. How well is a 190 built for the job? Take a look. How can the 190 and the 190XT handle so many jobs so well? You'll find part of the answer in the power plant. The gasoline and LP gas engines available are Alice Chalmers Power Crater engines. Power Crater design gives you an effective mixing of fuel and air. Final thorough blending during compression. Complete sustained combustion for full power. And quick clearing of exhaust gases. That's Power Crater Power, for economy with long life and dependability. For diesel power, turbulence is controlled by a special crescent design at the intake valve. To twist the air on the intake stroke, roll the air-fuel mixture on the compression stroke, and burn evenly on the power stroke. For the 190XT, this outstanding diesel is turbocharged to develop even more power. This modern design offers top efficiency in its power class. It features a factory-installed turbocharger. In operation, the natural exhaust spins a turbine on the drive shaft. This action in turn spins a rotary compressor, which results in a greater volume of air being forced into each combustion chamber to give you more horsepower and better fuel economy. The spinning action of the turbocharger breaks up the exhaust sound waves so that no muffler is required on this engine. There you have it. Pick your power and pick your fuel. For the 190, you have 75.3 horsepower gas and 77.2 diesel. On the 190XT, 85.2 horsepower LP gas, 89.5 horsepower gasoline, and 93.6 turbocharged diesel. Gasoline, diesel, or LP gas. All of these Alice Chalmers engines for the 190 and the 190XT feature replaceable water-cooled cylinder liners for maximum cooling. Another of the many quality features of these engines is the seven main bearing crankshaft, with one main on each side of every connecting rod. And Alice Chalmers knows these engines will perform because they're built in the most modern of engine manufacturing plants. Prototypes are tested in space-age test cells to prove their design. Skilled craftsmen assemble the production models. And every engine built is run in on special test stands before shipment for installation. They've got quality all right, these 190 tractors. Inside and out, front to back. Quality like the high response power clutch that's hydraulically actuated and self-adjusting. Or the smooth constant mesh helical gear transmission for easy operation, long life and quietness. Or the combination band and disc brakes to give that power feel without danger of power fail. They say it's built to last and ready to prove it. And it sure is. Any 190 will prove itself even before the land is cultivated. Built for the job and built for the man. So the man can take it all day long. And with that big fuel tank, you can work all day long without wasting time refueling. And there's all the hydraulic power you'll ever need. 
There are three separate circuits in the system, all pressurized whenever the engine is running. Always power to steer and raise or lower implements. The power takeoff is continuous, and you can specify the power takeoff that matches your equipment and job best. The rear power takeoff is standard and available in two speeds. Also available is an independent rear power takeoff, which is operated by a hydraulically operated clutch lever. Of course, when I was shopping, I wanted to know how adaptable a 190 would be to my equipment and conditions. But the 190 XT answered that too, because you have a choice of front ends to fit your crops. The regular widespread front wheels are on an adjustable front axle. This roll shift front axle enables you to adjust the spacing simply by turning the steering wheel after the anchor bolts have been removed. No muscles, no jacks, no pullers, no wrenches. And you can get the spacing from 60 to 84 inches in four inch changes. Also available are dual front wheels or a single front wheel. The rear treads also are adjustable to suit the row and the crop. And for real luxury, rear wheels with power shift are available varying the tread from 60 to 88 inches. One ninety buyers also have a choice of hitches. This straight drawbar hitch with swinging drawbar is available for all pull type implements. You can have this three point hitch with hand cranks on each arm, hitching control and telescoping lower links. The traction bar hitch adapts pull type tools to work with the traction booster system what does the traction booster do? Well, when the going gets tough, a unique draft sensing device hydraulically transfers the weight of the implement and soil to the rear wheels to provide more traction. When the load returns to normal, the traction booster releases the added weight. This system has been a long-standing Alice Chalmers feature. Do you have a problem like I had? Are you wondering about what tractor is best for your operation? Then here's your answer. An Alice Chalmers 190 or 190 XT tractor. It's built for the man, built for the job, and it's built to last. The Alice Chalmers 190 or 190 XT with high bridge visibility, a command platform with 1,224 square inches of space, adjustable steering wheel, power steering, console control, engine options for different power and different fuel. Pick your power. Pick your fuel, diesel, gas, or LP gas. Drawbar hitch, three-point hitches, traction bar hitches. Does the 190 answer? I'll say. An Alice Chalmers 190 or 190 XT tractor. They answer in the field. An XT answered my question of, will it do the job I want it to? A 190 or 190 XT is the answer for every farmer who's looking for a versatile and dependable tractor in their power classes. The only question I have now is, why don't more farmers find out about them?